to take care of Network Nerve, and this is episode 7 of the Pong Elder JGL series. And in this episode, we're probably going to go over at the enemy AI. So, scroll down to the bottom. We're going to make a new function. Uh, public float get rand range float min and float max. And this function is basically going to return a uh, float that's between a specific range specified by here and here. And to do this we're going to do return min plus float math dot random times max. And this will basically give us our random number between that range. So make a new class, call it in a, oops, entity enemy, and make sure it extends entity. And at our constructor. So from here, we're going to want to set a few variables in the constructor. This dot position x equals pong dot display width minus this dot width minus 16f. And this dot position y equals pong dot display height divided by two minus this this dot height divided by two and this dot height times five. So this will basically set it like a uh, the player paddle and this will make sure that it's on the right of the screen. So from here we're going to want to uh, find our move entity function. Give her that comment. And from here we can actually go to entity player and copy down this part. And this will make sure it doesn't go off the screen. So then find your on update function and this is where we're going to make it kind of make a mistake when it moves so it doesn't always win so do float mistake equals pong dot get rand range and a number I found that sort of worked was 1.5f in both numbers and then do this dot motion y equals this dot position y minus pong dot the ball at position y. And if that's bigger than zero, do minus this dot speed plus mistake and we're going to want to add a question mark there and then do a colon this dot speed plus mistake and this will basically add this mistake variable to the motions each uh, frame that way it can uh, make a mistake when it moves so it won't move fast enough or it'll move too fast. So we're going to want to go in entity, or actually I just go to world. Now, I'm going to want to go all the way up here and initialize it. Public entity enemy, the enemy. And then after. Move this down actually. Make sure it's initialized in the right place. Instance dot 
the enemy equals new entity enemy and set this to the instance as the parameter. So now we can start adding it to the world. So go in the world and do this dot entities dot add pong dot the enemy. So now that we've added it to the world and initialized it, we're going to want to make one more place and go to this collision variable. We're going to want an or statement. And we're going to want to set to this dot rect dot intersects pong dot the enemy dot rect. And this will basically check if it's colliding with the player or the enemy. And if either one is colliding, then it'll run this code right here. So now let's give that a quick test. So you can see that it's playing against you. And eventually it will make a mistake. Yep, you can see right there that it uh, went past it. So, if there's anything you guys want to learn in the next episode, uh, leave a comment and I'll get back to you on it. <laughs>